Okay, so we're going to be encountering what may experience on your end as several different bumps as we're going through this presentation series. And um, so what I want to do is I want to talk with you for a minute about pornography. Now we're going to be covering pornography more fully later on in this presentation series, but I just want to mention a couple things. Now pornography is admittedly geared primarily towards the male audience. However, everything I'm getting ready to say can be taken as if it's primarily geared towards the female audience or evenly geared and so forth. Um, but I'm going to be speaking from the geared towards the male audience perspective. Now, what frequently happens is when, you're, when a wife learns about their husband's unique sexual tastes is they will be like, why does he want to do this to me? And the question that follows is, is this something he saw in porn or in pornography? Now these are good questions and I recommend that you ask these questions to your husband um, because it, you know, it helps uh, open up that communication channel. You can understand each other better and this is good. However, you don't want to get stuck there. You can get stuck on this question for years and you can be like, well, you watched this in pornography when you were little and it's messed with all your tastes and ideas and, and you can really, I mean, your husband cannot unwatch this stuff. He cannot... I mean, it's happened, okay? There's no undo button he can hit, and so he can really have a rough time with this if you, if you get stuck here. So you want to ask questions that are going to move you forward um, as, as much as possible. And the questions of that nature are going to be like this. Am I willing to engage with my husband in the sexual practice or not? And the question for the husband is, um, you know, am I willing to forego this sexual practice or not? You see how this is going to boost you guys forward? These are the types of questions that we want to ask. Now, um, what I've done is I've broken this up into three different categories for you, and you can maybe you can come up with a fourth one. That's fine, too. I'm just trying to simplify it as best I can. But as we're going through this presentation series, I want you to know you have three different options, so to speak. There could be ten different options, but I'm going to give you three. One option is you, you, can, you can look at this sexual practice as something that you're happily willing to engage in, um, something that you can tolerate, you know, you're willing to do this for your husband even though you're not particularly interested or may not be comfortable or it may not be your thing or your interest. Um, and then there's ones that you absolutely will not tolerate at all. So there's ones that you will happily engage in, ones that you're willing to tolerate, and then ones that are a definite no, no not ever. Um, and so those are your options. And the reason that I want to, to tell you this is because when we're going through this, I don't want you to feel stuck, like you have to do something that you don't feel comfortable with or that you know um, you're not okay with you have options you can be happily willing you can be willing to engage in it sometimes but not that much I mean there's a lot of freedom there's a lot of playroom here so don't I don't want anybody to feel like they are like the spotlights on them and everybody's got these expectations and they just have to concede to everything because that's not the case um, so keep these things in mind as we're going through these presentations thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon